Now I'm going to show how to create an RM set uh, using envelope results. So again in the upper window, I'm going to define and name an RM set. And this time I'm going to look at the ultimate limit state moments. Again, uh, to define the actual input for the RM set, select the I or list generation button over the lower window. Again, we're going to choose the elements and nodes for which we would like to see results. And these again come from the group main girder, making sure to insert after so that they appear in the upper window. Instead of load cases now, we're going to go to the envelopes tab. This tab is very similar to the load case tab, except that you have to choose a leading result uh, for the results which you want to view. So first, I'm going to choose this uh, envelope or superposition file uh, called capmz, which is um, the capacity of my section. Next, I'll choose minimum mz and uh, mz. This means that um, this graph would show uh, all of the moments with the leading result uh, of minimum or highest negative moment and insert that. In addition to this, I might also want to look at positive moments. So I can again come choose a leading result of max mz and insert after again. Now I have uh, the minimum moment and the maximum moment uh, for this envelope file. I can plot this and now see uh, the envelope of the capacity of my bridge. Another thing you can do is view this capacity uh, in the same graph as the demand. So I have an envelope file called um, ULS that I also want to look at moments at the minimum moment. Insert that and moments at the maximum moment. So now we're looking at uh, minimum or highest negative moment and maximum or highest positive for the capacity and the demand. Um, all of those for this element group uh, main girder in the same plot. When I plot this to file now, um, you can see again that same capacity curve that we saw earlier which are the red and green lines as shown on the side here. Um, so this red line it tells you uh, which superposition file and which result or minimum MZ and the green one as well and then our demand curves are the dark blue and light blue which you can see fall within the uh, capacity curves. Again you can report this to file um, and it will show in this case, all of them listed um, above each other. Or write to an Excel file and save and view the Excel file. And here in this view, you can see them all side by side, which might be a little better way to look at it. Um, so we have minimum moment from the capacity and maximum moment from the capacity. And even another way to view this, if you wanted to look at the minimum moment capacity right next to the minimum demand capacity, is to go back to the RM set. So we'll go back to this RM set and click the list generation button again and come back to the envelopes tab. The way these are ordered in here is the way that they'll show up. So the way that they were inserted after is uh, how they actually show up in the Excel file. If you want to move them around, you can simply select one of them and then use one of these four arrow buttons here. Move up one, down one, move to the top or move to the bottom. So if I move this up one, now we're looking at uh, minimum capacity or capacity at uh, highest negative and demand right next to it. The plot file uh, will look 
similar, except that the colors have now been changed. So you can see now that we have capacity in red and demand in green. But now, when we write this to an Excel file, and view it, we can see capacity and demand right next to each other.